Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Caleb. And Jay. And we're here with another Eminem reaction, turning Jay into a stan eventually. It's a little bit... He's a hard cookie to crunch. That's the saying, and we're going by it. <laughs> um, this... <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so far for watching our videos. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy this one. And today we're listening to Mockingbird by Eminem. It's another storytelling one. Um, actually, it's not the first song I ever heard by him, but it's one of the first that got me like into him when I knew what like rap was and everything. Um, so, special place in my heart. And I think we're ready to start. Already. Did it mean to rhyme there? <laughs> I'm just a rapper. That's just how it works. I'm not an essential rapper. <laughs> no, that's Hobson. <laughs> Chill. We already covered that. Okay. Nah. So we're going <laughs> to go funny. ahead nope. yeah. and jump in. I have no clue what to expect. It's a sweet song. Okay. <laughs> I know sometimes things may not That's always daughter. make sense to you right now. His daughters. But hey, what daddy always tell you? What's your code word, by the way? Straighten up, little soldier. Wait, pause it. Stiffen up. What's your code word? I mean, I really don't need a code word if I have the full control, don't I? True. True. But you should still have a code word before you stop, so I know that you're about to pause. <laughs> We'll continue from last video. Sugar. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. These are not recorded at the same time. Yeah, they are. Um, <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Literally not even five shit. minutes. <laughs> yeah, straight up. That always makes sense to you right now. But hey, what daddy always tell you? Straighten up, little soldier. Stiffen up that upper lip. What you crying about? You got me. Haley, I know you miss your mom, and I know you miss your dad when I'm gone, but I'm trying to give you the life that I never had. I can see you sad, even when you smile, even when you laugh, I can see it in your eyes. Deep inside, you want to cry, because you're scared. I ain't there. Daddy's with you in your prayers. No more crying. Wipe them tears. Daddy's here. No more nightmares. We're going to pull together through it. We're going to do it. Laney uncle's crazy, ain't he? Yeah, but he loves you, girl, and you better know it. Well, we got in this world. When it spins, when it swirls, when it whirls, when it twirls, two little beautiful girls looking puzzled in it. Days. I know it's confusing you, daddy's always on the move, mama's always on the news, I try to keep you sheltered from it, but somehow it seems the harder that I try to do that, the more it backfires on me, all the things growing up is daddy that he had to see, daddy don't want you to see, but you see just as much as he did, we did not plan it to be this way, your mother and me, but things have got so bad between us, I don't see us ever being together ever again, like we used to be when we was teenagers, but then of course everything always happens for a reason, I guess it was never meant to be, but it's just something we have no sugar um <laughs> <laughs> this is way deeper of a song than i thought it would be i told you <laughs> dude this is it's really sad it's like it's yeah. a little bit sad but like it's kind of it feels good at the same time it this is i wasn't expecting this at all a hundred percent yeah it's all true, too. Yeesh. Yeah. <laughs> that's where, I guess that's where the uh, the sorrow part is, the, the sad part. Yeah. No, it's good, dude. I, I really like the song. You can see what got me like into it, you know? Oh, yeah. Definitely. And all these like baby pictures, just like, oh. The clips, the clips are kind of cute, actually. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I've been sitting here with like a smile the entire time just because of the, <laughs> the freaking clips. <laughs> I love it. It's good. No, this is good. This is amazing. Never being together ever again Like we used to be when we was teenagers But then of course everything always happens for a reason I guess it was never meant to be But it's just something we have no control over And that's what destiny is But no more worries, rest your head and go to sleep Maybe one day we'll wake up and this'll all just be a dream Now hush, little baby, don't you cry Everything's gonna be alright Stiffing that up, pull it up, little lady I told ya, daddy's here to hold ya through the night I know mommy's not here right now And we don't know why We 
feel how we feel inside It may seem a little crazy, pretty baby But I promise, mama's gonna be alright <laughs> It's funny, I remember back one year when daddy had no money Mommy wrapped the Christmas presents up and stuck them under the tree And said some of them were from me, cause daddy couldn't buy them I'll never forget that Christmas, I sat up the whole night crying Cause daddy felt like a bum See daddy had a job, but his job was to keep the food on the table For you and mom, and at the time, every house that we lived in Either kept getting broken into and robbed or shot up on the block And your mom was saving money for you in a jar Trying to start a piggy bank for you so you could go to college Almost had a thousand dollars It's crazy to see someone broke in and stole it Like, uh, like how they lived Like Eminem is such a big, like, uh, like star, you know, like But it, it's weird to see that in the earlier days of his career How, like, low they were kind of living I don't, I don't want to, like judge or anything but like it seems it seems to me like a lot of like trailer home-esque um like decor and like all these little like not even like like lower income suburbs like yards and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's a weird it's a weird thought to think like like eminem came from like nothing like literally nothing it's interesting it's always interesting to see what an artist came from because usually it's not uh, an amazing, like, oh, I'm rich, I can do whatever the fuck I want type of deal. It's usually mm -hmm. stuff like this. Or yeah. just um, a standard life is probably what the uh, uh, what a lot of them are for, too. Either poor, yeah. kind of like a, oh, I'm just kind of living life. I'm not really wealthy, but I'm not, like, super poor or anything like that. Just kind of in the middle. Yeah, and it makes me it makes me wonder like this had to have been like 95 or 6 or something like that. Mhm. Mm Actually even later than that cuz it's it's the way I think about it is like his first album came out in 99 and 97 actually. So I don't know, it's weird. You would think like after that the He'd be living in like a, a a way better situation, but it doesn't seem that way. Well, the first album never is the the best one or anything like that, or makes the most money. You gotta remember that part too. Yeah, like you've had a few albums. You're not in a penthouse. Yeah, but I'm I'm saying like his first like debut album, like uh like on a record label, like that made it's like double platinum, blah blah blah, all that cool like all the good stuff. Well, you also got to remember the record lo uh, a label takes almost oh, all of it. Yeah, that's true. Like, especially back then, they took almost all they of it. hell of money. Yeah. yeah, you're right, though. It's definitely it, it's interesting. It's definitely improved in years past a little bit, but not by much. Yeah. So, it, you got to remember, like, he was just barely probably making it because they would give him so little. That's true. So. Now he's a millionaire, though. <laughs> and now he's a millionaire. But let's go ahead and uh, continue. Yeah. Shot up on the block and your mom was saving money for you in a jar Trying to start a piggy bank for you so you could go to college Almost had a thousand dollars till someone broke in and stole it And I know it hurt so bad it broke your mama's heart And it seemed like everything was just starting to fall apart Mom and dad was arguing a lot so mama moved back on the Chalmers in a flat One bedroom apartment and dad moved back to the other side of 8 Mile on Novara And that's when daddy went to California with his CD and met Dr. Dre And flew you and mama out to see me but dad Daddy had to work, Legends. you and mama had to leave me Then you started seeing daddy on the TV And mama didn't like it And you and Laney were too young to understand it Papa was a rolling stone, mama developed a habit And it all happened too fast for either one of us to grab it I'm just sorry you were there and had to witness it firsthand Cause all I ever wanted to do was just make you proud Now I'm sitting in this empty house Just reminiscing, looking at your baby pictures It just trips me out to see how much you both have grown It's almost like your sisters now Wow, I guess you pretty much are, and daddy's still here Laney, I'm talking to you too, daddy's still here I like the sound of that chair, it's got a ring to it, don't it? Shh, mama's only gone for the moment Now hush, little baby, don't you cry, everything's gonna be alright Stiffing that up a lip up, little lady, so I told you, daddy's it all His daughter Haley is his and Kim's And then uh, Laney was, I think... 
a he adopted her from a family member who couldn't take care of her. He got custody mm. and was able to raise her in a better situation. Ah. Which is a uh, really really cool. Um But yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of it's kind of a sad situation, but I think he made the best of it for what he could do. Yeah, there's there's always situations that you're not always prepared for or able to really work through the best way. So you do what you can. Yeah, for sure. And you got to respect the man for adopting a kid instead of letting it go into the orphanage. Yeah. I think I think it's cuz he knew like he's been in that situation, right? So it's like he didn't want to in, her to end up the same way. Yeah. So, I it's, it's really cool. I I respect that a lot, honestly. Yeah. But let's finish this out. Yeah. Going for the moment. Little baby, don't you cry. Everything's gonna be alright. Sniffing at a bullet bump, little lady. I told you, daddy's here to hold you. Kim comes back home. I know mommy's not here right now, and we don't know why. We feel how we feel inside. It may seem a little crazy, pretty baby. But I promise, mama's gonna be alright. And if you ask me to, daddy's gonna buy you a mockingbird. I'ma give you the world. I'm going to buy a diamond ring for you. I'm going to sing for you. I'll do anything for you to see you smile. And if the mockingbird don't sing and that ring don't shine, I'm going to break that birdie's neck. I'll go back to the jeweler who sold it to you and make him meet every carrot. Don't be with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking, it's really funny. Dude. The uh, uh, One of the, the main reasons why I wanted to listen to that song first was... Um, or way back when was because he doesn't curse the entire song. And I was like, well, I could probably get away with listening to this with my parents. Like, <laughs> um, and, uh, just like skip it because the, the very, the very last thing he says is don't fuck with dad. And, I'm like, mm. <laughs> and it's like, he doesn't curse the whole song. And then he's like, eh, gotta say fuck at least once. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit made me laugh, dude. Hey, um, look who's here. Then I started listening to more. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. The, uh, but yeah, dude, how do you, what are your thoughts on that? That was an awesome song. I, it was very meaningful. Um, the fucking, the, the baby fucking clips were hilarious and cute. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's sweet. Yeah, it was super sweet, super sad and sweet. It was, it was a good mixture. Yeah. That's a hard one. Like, Honestly, that's a hard song to listen to because once you get into it, really, it's like it is a sad song. Oh, yeah. It's like, I mean, even just bass level, it's pretty sad. But I think once you start, like, memorizing the lyrics and everything, as you do when you're a fan, <laughs> um, you start to, like, realize, like, oh, shit, there's a lot of, like, deep and sad shit in there. Yeah. Um, But it, it's, it's hopeful at the end of it, at the end of the day. So it's like, I, I think that's why I like it so much. Yeah, no, definitely. But yeah, cool. Well, thanks for watching this with me. Um, next week we'll get something gritty and uh, mm-hmm. hardcore to make up. Because last week we listened to Stan, right? Yes. So yeah, we'll we'll get into some uh, some gritty shit and uh, make you question reality. And <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, well, thank you, thank you everybody for watching. And if you liked our content, like I said at the beginning, like and subscribe, leave a comment on your favorite Eminem song. That's a good one for this week. Um, cause I don't think I've actually asked that yet. If I have though, I'm an idiot. So, uh, with that being said, go like our other videos, go watch them, like them first though, obviously. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs>